Hello guys, welcome back to Razor and Tech Productions. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to customize your Chromebook Part Two. And the reason why I say Part Two is because I made I made a video. I think that was my first video, and I want to make a Part Two because I found better ways to customize your uh, Chromebook than the last time. And I know you guys can see but I have found a new screen recorder it's called loom I'll put it up on the screen and yeah so I've got a new screen recorder and I'm using the new video editor so you will see better edits in my videos so just get ready for that so the first uh, thing we're gonna do is uh, there is a new tab and you know last time I used air desk and Air Desk it, it looks like Mac OS, but I think that this one's better because it's not really copying anything else. Like this one's not copying Windows or Chromebook or Mac or Android. So um, let me go ahead and show you guys. And boom, that this is basically there's not much about uh, Momentum. It's just a, a regular new tab like all the other ones. But I think this is the best out of all of them. And how this works is you can go up here, you just put where you live. And I mean, that's not where I live, but I'm not going to put that in there right now. But, you know, just put in your city and it'll automatically um, change it on the weather. So you like it's 77 degrees, but when I change it to me, it's just going to change to something else. So, you know, it says, good morning, RT Productions. What is your main focus for today? It gives you little quotes from people. It tells you where that uh, picture was taken and you can turn off your links like up here you see and you can put like little shortcuts I turn that off because I want to be minimal bookmarks bar I, I advise you to keep that off search bar that's just up there where you can search and it'll search it out some but it's weird whenever you search it up I advise you to keep on focus and quotes and weather so that's one of them, and we're going to go ahead and go on to the next one. So the next one is going to be wallpaper, whew, wallpapers wide. I can't talk today, but yeah, basically what wallpapers wide is, it's a wallpapers website, and the one thing I love about this, it automatically changes to your resolution. It can tell by what your screen is, by how big your screen is, and mine is... 1,866 by 768. See, it automatically changes it to it. So if you pick, like I'll pick this one, it automatically knows which uh, where my uh, what my resolution is, and you just press download, and it's automatically big enough or um, small enough for your screen. So I, that's what I love about this site. I will put all of these um, links to these websites and extensions in the description. So now we're going to go ahead and go on to the next one. This video is not going to be that long because it's only four, um, four ways to customize your Chromebook. I mean, there's more ways, but in this video, I'm only going to show you four ways. So next one is going to be Cursor for Chrome. Now, I know you guys already see this, and I'm just using this to demonstrate and how this looks. I'm not the type of person that's the one that uses this, but I know there's other people that uh, likes to do this. So, or oh, likes to uh, make the cursor look better. And it's not, I mean, it's not much to it. You just press on it. And there's certain white sites it doesn't work on. Like if you go on Google uh, Chrome uh, Web Store, it doesn't work. But if you go to like Wild Wallpapers, it'll show. See, it has a lot of different ones you can use. Um, so yeah, if I go back here and it's just like a little shortcut and you know, that looks cool and what else, what else, what else? And next one is going, oh, actually I think that's it. Oh no, one more thing. So you see how I have this right here and it has this little button for the shortcut. If I press on this, it's going to bring up that my uh, link to it, my shortcut. How this works is if you go over here to Chrome and you can't do it on this Chrome web store, it already has it for you. But if you go to like wide wallpapers, I'll search it up wide wallpapers. And if I press on that, all you have to do is go to go to the three dots more in tools and press create shortcut and it'll do like this and you just put the name you want and, and open as window and as soon as you do that 
it'll do it'll do this and you're you're pretty much done and i feel like this is better so you don't have to waste storage because it don't take like what one megabyte so just i i've used wallpapers adobe spark video editor well i changed it that that's actually clip champ ebay epic games store um text now iCloud, like I've used uh uses for like YouTube Studio. I've used that for a lot of stuff. I feel like the YouTube Studio and the website is better than um the app because if you on your, on your Chromebook, it'll have the screen like it's on a phone, and I don't like that. So I just added a shortcut um for YouTube Studio. And just remember the way to do this: you go on there to whatever site you want to add a shortcut for. Three dots, more tools, create shortcut, add the name, open as window, and it's automatically done. So I told you guys this wasn't going to be a long video. After this, I am going to make another video. So you guys will see two videos uploaded. And please subscribe and uh, smash that like button. And I want to get to this uh, like and sub goal. So please subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys next time.